My name is Jenny. I'm not a Jew. <laughs> I was raised Catholic, so I'm a slut. I loved going to Sunday school. It was a really small class. It was me and nine other boys. <laughs> that made me the hot chick by default. <laughs> so I just got back from a trip to Italy with my mother and her two sisters. It was beautiful. I was in the most romantic country in the world with three menopausal ladies. It's okay, it was fine. Because of the hot flashes, we stopped for gelato everywhere. <laughs> it's delicious. Before that, I hadn't been out of the country since I'd been to Mexico. I was at a party and this guy walks in and it was like love at first sight. And four days later, he invited me on a trip to Mexico with him. And then two days later, we're on the plane. So we get to our hotel and <laughs> and uh, we, we get to our hotel and I'm, I'm standing on the balcony and uh, overlooking the beautiful Acapulco Bay and I thought, this is either gonna be the most romantic week of my life or this guy's gonna murder me. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't murder me, <laughs> in case you can't tell. <laughs> I'd always traveled though. When I was a, a teenager, I was a French exchange student. I, I wanted to go to France so bad. I had three goals. I wanted to see the Eiffel Tower, see all the museums, make out with a French guy. At least one French guy. So um, I was staying with this uh, French teenage girl and I thought she was gonna teach me exotic things about France like wine and film. But instead, Claudette drank Budweiser. Yeah. <laughs> and her favorite movie was Weekend at Bernie's, too. <sighs> I, I didn't even make out with a French guy. He was Polish. <laughs> Guys weren't into me when I was growing up. I was a tomboy. Uh, I wore flannel shirts, no makeup. So when I went off to college, I thought, I'm gonna be hot now. And I went out and I got skirts and heels and the first time my parents came to visit me at college, I figured, I'll try out one of my hot new outfits on them. <laughs> I wanted my parents to think I was sexy too. Doesn't everyone want their parents to think they're sexy? Yeah. Just me. <sighs> so, um. I was in the lobby of the hotel they were staying at, waiting for them to come downstairs in my outfit, and uh, I hear a man's voice behind me, and he says, are you working? I thought, oh my God, the guy behind me thinks I'm a hooker. That's awesome. I never wore a flannel shirt again. But when I turned around, it was my dad. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking. He can't spend his money on hookers. He's saving for retirement. <sighs> I can't invite my grandmother to my shows, obviously, because she's dead. Mm. I just joined AARP. I like to plan ahead. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> I, I've been getting a lot more mature lately, and I can tell because last Halloween, I went out dressed up as a zombie instead of what had been my usual costume of a skank. <laughs> but I'm secure with myself now. I don't need Halloween as an excuse to get all skanky and get attention from guys. But I still dress like a skank on first dates. Also at bars and clubs. And Trader Joe's. <laughs> the DMV, my dentist's office. And funerals. 
But not on Halloween, though. That would be tacky. Um, I was driving over here on the 405, and <laughs> the license plate in front of me said OBGYN. <laughs> That's gross. I would much rather see those bumper stickers that say, I look at vaginas for money. <laughs> mm. That's much classier. So I, uh, I know you can't tell by looking at me, but I like to drink alcohol. <laughs> if I'm at a club and there's just a little bit of booze left in the glass, I'll pound it. My mother taught me never to waste. When I'm drunk, I hear her nagging voice in the back of my head. Jenny, there are sober people in China. <sighs> My mom hates that joke. <laughs> when I was in college that, you know, that hooker year, um, I'd, I'd come home to visit my family and, and I was bragging on the phone about my, my friends about how I like to drink at school and I'm always wasted and, and I didn't know this, but my mom was standing right behind me and she overheard the whole thing. When I got off the phone, she was like, Jenny, you are not going to college just so you can get drunk all the time. I was like, mom, that's exactly why I go to college. <laughs> I mean that and to have my first lesbian experience. I still remember my first girl on girl experience. It was really awkward the next day, you know, when we were walking to class together, and then me at my desk taking notes, her at the podium teaching. <laughs> but I made the dean's list. <laughs> so uh, my grandma, um, the dead one, <laughs> we used to play Scrabble together when I was a little girl, and. She kicked my ass. I used to be so proud of myself because I would spell words like dog and dot, and then it was her turn and she'd spell alpaca. It wasn't fair, I was six years old. I didn't know what an alpaca was. I'm still not sure. Anyway, then she'd added up the scores, right? Because she had to do it, because she claimed she was better at math than I was. Janie three, Grandma 89, I win! Don't even get me started on our strip poker games. So, uh, I wanna say one more thing before I go, and that's that I have a new boyfriend. Thank you. We're texting! <laughs> That's how I know it's serious. I like to send him messages like, I miss you so much, or I bet you're as hard as the bar exam. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. Thank you, I'm Jenny Bartiromo.